All right, y'all, so first off, Scarce is back from the dead. Y'all know dude just mysteriously disappeared for months, and all of a sudden he comes back, and dude got 18 million views in the last 30 days. Like, you don't understand, this man was gone for a long time. People thought he was dead. He went on Twitter, he went on Facebook. <laughs> dude was gone. He, he decided, fuck YouTube, I'm done with everything. And then all of a sudden he saw, oh shit, this Jake Paul stuff blowing up. Rice gum dropped a whole little YouTube war shit, so he came back, and now he's doing the news again. So, first off, welcome back there. Uh, welcome back, Scarce, and welcome to CDG23. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get right to it. Rice gum clowns, Team Ten. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scarce here, and guys, today is like the biggest day of the summer when it comes to YouTube news. There was so much news that went down today that I actually have to split this video into two different videos. So I'm going to be uploading a video about an hour after this one, and I probably will end up uploading today. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to make any promises, but just this dude got for too many scenes. Play so much drama that went down. Actually, the first we have today comes from Tessa. And Erica Costa. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who they are, especially if you follow Team 10. Uh, they ended up uploading a new song yesterday to their channel, and I'm sure all of you guys know that Erica is now dating Jake Paul, and Tessa used to date Chance from Team 10. So I'm sure you guys know who these guys are associated with and stuff. You mean they got married for well, views? So they made this song, and, and to be honest, the song didn't do that well. I mean, it made 2 million views, don't get me wrong, that's a lot of fucking views, but it didn't do anywhere near as well as like Jake Paul's songs or yeah, anyone yeah, else's yeah. songs in Team 10. I thought it was okay, but uh, Rice Gum and the rest of his squad at, you know, Rice Gum, FaZe Banks' house, uh, you know, Alyssa Violence staying there, some Ray staying there, a bunch of FaZe guys usually hang out there. Uh, it looks like they all reacted to Tessa and Erica's song on Instagram Live yesterday. So if you don't know, Rice Gum has like 4 million followers on Instagram, and he started like streaming on Instagram Live, and these guys were laughing their ass off of this song. This, these guys were like shit-talking the fuck out of Erica and Tessa's song. And, uh, you know, I kind of felt bad for Erica and Tessa, but it's like, hey, hey. you know, Rice Gum's gonna talk shit if he thinks this song is bad. Because obviously, Rice Gum is one of the first people to do this tracks. And now all these other YouTubers are singing and stuff, and he wants to criticize them if he thinks it's bad. So he ended up reacting to this on Instagram Live and just watch this. There's this team tech girl that posted a, you know, a song, and that shit is trash. And <laughs> oh, it's squad. Oh, Pop out and pop back in. Lonely pause. Nah, you can't get it. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch what he said after it. It was so funny, bro. <laughs> this shit is trash. We just made a video on it. This shit is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This shit is ass. This shit is hard. <laughs> bro. He turned the damn TV off. That's how you know that shit is ass, bro. This shit is ass. Bro. They they have a party about this shit. And they ugly got it. What the fuck? Hey man, do you have a what the fuck? He's a hey man, do you have an eight spot something because I'm trying to fuck. What the fuck? I never laughed so hard in my life. Oh, oh my god, I can't breathe. A uh, Faith Banks also tweeted out at the same time saying, in the studio with Rice and KSI, 
that size. So honestly, I think that Face Banks is going to say Rice Gum, KSI, and maybe even himself all make the diss tracks on different people. KSI is obviously going to be making a diss track on the Sidemen. Rice Gum is probably going to be making a diss track on Team 10 again. And it looks like Face Banks might be making a diss track on Snipe Wolf or maybe some people on Team 10 as well. I mean, I really don't know. But I feel like all these guys are making diss tracks right now. And this is just going to be massive news this week. We have so many stories that are going to come out this week. There's going to be so many diss tracks. I mean, there already was like four different diss tracks dropped last night and today. So, uh, you know, people are just dropping diss tracks like crazy right now because I guess that's where the views coming on YouTube right now. And also, I'm sure that you guys know about the Chance and Anthony drama where Chance and Anthony actually tried to confront Rice Gum at his house yesterday. Well, the Hollywood Fix, which is like a paparazzi group, actually decided to film Chance and Anthony and they asked him if he's going to go back to Rice Gum's house you know, to settle the beef with that. And Chance confirms here that he's not going to go back to Rice Gum's house. He's done with that drama. See, that's what I didn't get. You go to that man's house. What you think, bro? Man, that's so much bullshit, bro. And you shouldn't have went to the man house in the first place, bro. And now you trying to squash the beef. Oh. Bryce Gum ain't gonna stop, bro. Y'all already um. started. He said y'all turned this into real beef when y'all stepped foot in his house or by his house. Y'all can't try to turn back and because he wasn't there say, oh, I'm not gonna go back and think it's okay, bro. It's over with. Shit. It's over. <laughs> I think they fucked, they fucked up. They, they shouldn't have done it. I'm gonna go back. And you know, it's pretty interesting because they never actually got to confront Rice Gum. You know, don't they want to confront Rice Gum? They said that in their video before, but now that Rice Gum's acting really aggressive, now they just don't even want to confront him anymore. Now it's like, no, we're not going to go back to his house. Also, I'm sure all the guys know Jacob Sarkorius, and especially if you watch Rice Gum, uh, this guy's like a massive YouTuber. He has a ton of fans. He's like a, a big kid star. And he ended up tweeting this out. He said, I just got woken up being handcuffed by 15 police with guns pointed at me pinned to the ground. I'll explain later. There were helicopters flying yeah, over our house. Doing, Many times in this video, <laughs> our back door got kicked in and I was pinned on the ground. And he posted this Twitter video. Yeah, I wish you could see the helicopter kind of going over this house. What you do for the police to do all that, man? That's my question. The police pin you on the ground like that. Yeah. You must have bomb somebody. Yeah. That's the only bad thing about having like, if you become big on YouTube and shit. Having your place revealed is detrimental. Motherfuckers that swat you. Shit is dangerous. People mm -hmm. call <laughs> Shit is dangerous, bro. That's why I see why Pretty Blue Fred will never show the outside of his where he lives. Because when a nigga find out, they gonna swat that. Jacob then said everyone's okay. They explained that there was a misunderstanding and that the neighbors thought there was a robber in our house. So it looks like Jacob Sertorius got, I guess, swatted. I'm not entirely sure because uh, apparently his neighbors might have actually called the cops on him. So I don't even know if you could consider this him getting swatted. And I don't think it was like a random hacker or a person trying to swat him. I think it's just his neighbors freaked out. They called the police and he got handcuffed, which doesn't make any sense. Jacob Sakura's wow. got quote unquote swatted because the police came to his house and fucking like? handcuffed him, dude. Oh, bruh, that's some hating ass people, bruh. Oh. That, that wasn't. That, they can say they never thought it was somebody, man, that's some bullshit, bruh. That was hating, bruh. And they called the police on you to get a complaint, bruh. Basically, it's some bullshit. A lot of bullshit, bruh. Yeah. And that's crazy, right? Like, that's, that's cause dude, true, bro. He, they already said Jacob don't make no noise in this area. So, did you call just so he, you could see him get... Man, that can kill somebody, man. If that was somebody... I ain't trying to be racist or nothing, but if that was somebody like a minority, you don't know where they think would have been, bro, because these cops been acting crazy. Like, I'm not saying they all racist. That ain't what I'm saying. I'm just saying... Hold on, what you doing? You do got some prejudice-ass motherfuckers out here. Whether you rich, black, white, whatever. You got some precious motherfuckers out here that'll kill you just because they don't want to see you winning. Or try to do something to you just so they can stop you from winning. People hate for that. 
<laughs> so a YouTuber knows Mystic got jokes. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Mystic is. He got some drama with Rice a while back. Uh, he really isn't that relevant on YouTube anymore, though. He's not making that many views recently. You know, I'm <laughs> Damn, who like just, but obviously he's just straight up saying this track today, and you can tell it's kind of like a cry for attention here. He got 200,000 views, bro. Oh, 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 Y'all be damn near there, but bro, stop asking for them in damn life. Like for real, you 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 overboard your fans, man. Now I wouldn't even ask. I just tell you go like it if you like. It. I say, well, I, I'm the type of like smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? But that shit is out of there. That nigga said, <laughs> man. But uh, he said, can we get forty thousand likes in two hours? That's bro. It's been like five hours, and he ain't got that. So, man, hey. That's that about that's, that wraps it up, man. This but that was a bunch of bullshit at the end with the Jacob, the, the Jacob kid. Yeah, hate this, bro. You guys gonna have, but man, if you have, it, go subscribe to my channel CDG23 and Arley, and put your notifications on. We got some new bangers coming out. If we're gonna try to drop every day, we gonna promise we're gonna drop a video every day. No matter if it's gaming or a reaction, man. We're trying to come every day with a video. You know, to entertain you guys, man. But, yeah, man. And if you like this video, go like it, man. That's all you gotta do. You know, show us some love each channel, man. And that's about it. So, peace.